Get a warm up in. All right, boxer shuffle. Get those arms and legs moving just a little bit. Got a good workout today. Oh, we're going to be doing um, primarily a, a good bit of strength training first, and then we'll finish with a, a tiny little uh, six minute block of cardio at the end. All right, so go ahead and shake that out. Let's go arm circles going backwards first. Start small, try to get the blood flow into the upper body, make them a little bigger, a little bigger than that. And then let's overlap them. Nicely done, shake it out. Same thing going forward. Starting small, making them a little bigger, a little bigger than that. And then overlap them. Nicely done. All right, next, get on some flat ground. If you're on a mat, like I am, we're gonna go hip cradle. So grab that ankle, knee, stand up with it. Make sure you're driving through the floor with that stance foot, squeezing the glute of that leg as well. We're gonna go five on each side here. Remember, if your balance isn't too hot this morning or whenever you're watching this video, um, you can always get near a wall or near a chair and just do a one-handed grab where you're going with the ankle. But make sure you're grabbing the ankle so that you can actually pull that leg into external rotation. All right, next, let's go quad to overhead reach, quad stretch, so grab the ankle, Squeeze the glute, push your hip forward, keep your belly tight, press overhead. Grab the ankle, squeeze the glute, press your hip forward, keep your belly tight, press overhead. Five on each side. Stay with it, couple more here. Nicely done. All right, next we're going inchworm. Walk it out, hands to feet first. Walk it out, give me the push up down here. Whether you wanna go from your feet or from your knees is up to you. And then walk those feet back towards your hands using just your ankles, try to get up as high as you can. Stand it up, turn around, same thing going the other way. Let's go to doing this orientation, and then let's go to walking the hands back towards the feet. So kind of the opposite of what we're doing for these first two. Walk it out. Oh, I forgot to do a push-up on that last one. Shame on me. All right, and then walk those hands back to your feet. Obviously, the further you can get with your knees straight, the better. But if you need to bend your knees to lower that center of gravity and help you stand up, by all means, do that. One more here. Walk it out. Give me the push-up. Push those hands back to your feet. Nicely done. All right. Let's go open the gates. So kind of hip openers here. Try to keep your belly tight, open as wide as you can, alternate legs. We're gonna go five on each side with this as well. Again, working another, got a lot of single leg stuff today. And the warm up here, really get that nervous system firing. One more on each side Ooh, without falling over. Good. All right, next, let's go Kazakh squat with overhead hold. So elbows are, elbows are straight overhead, and I want you just to sink to one side. Only go down as far as your flexibility will allow you. Don't feel like you got to get super, super low. 
<clears throat> make sure those toes are pointed forwards. We're just aiming for obviously a leg warm up here, but we want to get a little bit of a stretch through the groin area of that trailing leg, as well as wake up those shoulders and back. All right, one more on each side. Nicely done. All right, shake that out. And I think that's gonna, I think that covers about everything. So let's go ahead and get into what we're gonna be doing today. So we're gonna be doing intervals similar to how we did last week, um, where we're gonna work for 30 seconds, or we're gonna rest for 30 seconds as well. And I know that seems like a lot of rest, but we've got two exercises per group. And um, to give you an example, group one is gonna be a lower body push exercise. So it's gonna be a squat uh, mixed with a upper body pull. So like a row, and then we'll flip that for group two. Group three, we're gonna go full body. Group four, we're gonna go core exercises using no equipment. And then um, group five or the final finisher is that cardio, six minutes of cardio, like I uh, told you about earlier. So the 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off, we're gonna go through each grouping of those two exercises three times through. So it's a total of six minutes per. Um, the rest, you'll, you'll be appreciative of the 30 seconds rest as we get deeper into these and we're doing those exercises for a third time in a row. So with that said, group one, I'm gonna show you all with both dumbbells and the resistance bands, but I'm gonna be doing primarily the workout with the resistance bands, completely up to you what you use. Um, but you know, using some sort of uh, resistance is definitely gonna help to make this work out better. So first one, we're gonna step on the band. If you're using the band, we're gonna curl it up and then we're going squats here. So make sure your feet are about hip width apart. We're going as deep as you can and then standing up with it. And then on the next exercise, we're gonna hinge. And what you may need to do if you're using the band is you may need to loop it and then step on it. So you have shorter tails and then we're hinged. So we're here and we're pulling for a bent over row. Keep your belly tight, squeeze those um, shoulder blades together when you pull up and you row. Um, so 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for three rounds there. If you're using dumbbells, they're gonna be held here in the front rack position. Here's your squats and here's your row, similar to the resistance band. So with that, let's go ahead and get this first set going in five, four, three, two, one, go. Front squats. Make sure those knees are following the toes. The beauty of these resistance bands is they get harder as you stand back up, whereas dumbbells just feel the same throughout. So there's advantages to each. Three, two, one, time. Good job. All right, now we're gonna hinge at the hips. If you're using the resistance band, you're gonna wanna loop it first. Give yourself short tails on each side maybe about six inches. And then we got about 10 more seconds here. Like I said, the rest is gonna seem like a lot in the beginning, but as we get deeper into this, you'll appreciate it. All right, three, two, one, flatten that back. Squeeze, elbows, stay close to the sides, pull up, give me that good squeeze with those shoulder blades, bring it back down. Notice I'm not going super fast here. I'm going nice and slow. Inhale on the way down. Exhale as you pull up. Three, two, one. Time. Good job. All right, we're back to our front squat. Make sure you got those tails even. We got about 15 seconds to go here. And so really control these movements. 
Try not to go too fast. We can always make it feel harder by just slowing it down. And we're going in three, two, one, go. Good, slow on the way down, load that spring, and then let it fire off as you stand up. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nicely done, y'all. All right. So if you're using that resistance band, loop it around. We got our next set coming up here. This will be the completion of our second round. So make sure you're keeping that back flat as you hinge your hips back. And you're giving me that good squeeze with elbows close to the body. Three, two, one, go. Nicely done, y'all halfway. Stay with it. Don't let those shoulders shrug up towards your ears. We want to keep them down towards our butt. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nicely done. All right, that's the second round down. We got one more round to go here. Y'all are doing great. Stay with it. And we got our next set starting in 10 seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one, and we're squatting. Remember, knees follow toes. So make sure you've got them pointed straight ahead or slightly outwards, whatever works best for your hip structure. Sink those hips down as low as you can while still keeping a flat back. And three, two, one, time. Nicely done. All right, that was the last set of squats. We got one more set of our bent over row here. You got a couple seconds before we get there. So if you need some water, grab it. I got mine hiding behind the camera here. And we're going in five, four, three, two, one, go. So do your best to push those hips back. Keep your chest up, which is gonna help keep that back flat. Belly stays tight. We're halfway here. Couple more rows. And three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, next one, we're going RDL. So again, you're gonna want to step and make those tails pretty short on each side. And then we're gonna go four seconds on the way down. Two second pause at the bottom, fire it back up at the top. That's the first move. And then I'll show you the second move when we get to it. So RDL, four second down, two second pause at the bottom. Three, two, one, go. Soften those knees up, push those hips back, resist that band if you're using the band. Two seconds at the bottom, fire back up, stand up as powerfully as you can. We're going nice and slow here. So you're only going to get maybe four, five reps in. And that's completely okay. Remember, this can also be done with dumbbells. I'll show you those on the next round. Three, two, one, time. Nicely done. All right, next one. We're going floor press to tricep extension. So that's going to look like this. And then we're going either side. So if you've got dumbbells, that's the move we're going to do. If you've just got the band, we're going to go body weight. 
we're gonna go push up to shoulder tap. So push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push up again. Three, two, one, go. Push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. That's our body weight move. And remember, if you've got dumbbells, you can give me that press to that cross body tricep extension. Stay with it. We got about 10 seconds to go here. Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, now we're popping it back up to standing. So that's round one now. We got two more rounds here. Doing the RDL, and then our upper body push movement, which is either that floor press to that cross body tricep extension, or it's the push up to shoulder taps. All right, y'all, three, two, one, RDL, go. Soft knees, push those hips back, four seconds on the way down. Two second pause at the bottom, stand up powerfully. Keep your belly tight here. So make sure chest is staying up. Kind of think proud chest. That way you're not just folding over like this. Want good form as you push those hips back. Three, two, one, time. All right. <clears throat> we got about 20 more seconds to rest here before we move to our upper body push movement. So either that's laying on your back with the dumbbells or that's push up body weight with the shoulder taps. Remember with these shoulder taps, we're resisting any rotation by keeping our core nice and tight. All right, round two for this one going three, two, one, go. Remember, these can be done from the knees as well. So you'd be here. Same rules apply though. Squeeze those glutes. Keep your core tight. Go nice and slow with the shoulder taps. Three, two, one, time. Good job. All right, we're popping it back up to standing. We got one more round here with group two or we're doing lower body pull, upper body push. And then we'll move to our group three, which is full body. As if these weren't already full body, but. <laughs> All right, five, four, three, two, one, go. Soft knees, hips back. Give me slow four seconds on the way down. Two second pause at the bottom. Stand it up powerfully. Remember to screw those feet into the floor. Don't let those toes dance, as I like to say. They should be dug into the floor. All right, give me two more reps here. Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, last round of this upper body push. Either you're doing a push up with the, with the shoulder taps or the floor press here with the cross body tricep extension. And we got five, four, three, two, one, go. Stay with it, y'all, 30 seconds here, and then that'll be it for group two. We'll move to a new set of exercises. Push yourself, finish strong here. Three, two, one, time. Nicely done. All right, now we're moving. We're still gonna stay on the floor. You're going to go on your back, and then we're going to go glute bridge to abduction. So what that is, that's just pulling the legs out. So we're going to push through the heels, bridge up. We're going to 
pull the knees out, not so much that my I roll onto the outside of my heel or outside of my shoes or my feet, but I want to just do it just a little bit. Three, two, one, go. Bridge up, pull it out, bring it back in, come back down. As many reps here in 30 seconds as you can. These can also be, uh, you can also add dumbbells to your hips to make this just a little harder. Stay with it. Almost there. Three, two, one, time. Nicely done. All right, now you're gonna stand up. And we're going curl to press to overhead tricep extension. So give yourself a good amount of tails if you use a resistance band. We're curling, we're pressing, and then elbows are gonna stay up high, and then we come back down and do it all again. If you're using dumbbells, same thing. Curl, press, bring them behind your head. Three, two, one, go. Curl, press, tricep extension. Do your best on that tricep extension. I know it's going to be difficult to keep your elbows from flaring out like this. Okay, try to keep them close to your upper body or close to your head and upper body. And if that's really hard, you can also just step on one tail if you're using the resistance band. Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, back to the floor. Back to our weighted glute bridge. So we got the weighted glute bridge and then that curl to press to overhead tricep extension, which is really just a little bit of everything for the arms. All right, remember you have the option if you have dumbbells or something heavy to put those at your hips as you do these glute bridges, but they're not necessary. Three, two, one, go. So remember you're pulling your knees out, but you're not pulling them out as far as they can go. We're just doing a little bit of hip abduction as we bridge up, getting that tiny little glute medius muscle working here. And obviously the big glute muscle, when we bridge up, three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, we're back to standing. Second round of this curl to press to tricep extension. Remember with that resistance band, you can step on just one tip on one, or you can have it under both, both feet. That's gonna increase the resistance. You got some options there. I'm going to show you with the dumbbells for this round. And we got three, two, one, go. Belly stays tight. Glutes are squeezed. Curl, press, tricep extension. And then come back down the same way you came. So I'm trying to go palms up on the curl, then press the palms away from me at the top, but then they're gonna face each other <clears throat> for that tricep extension. Time. Good job, y'all. All right, we got one more set here. So we're moving back to the floor. Two rounds down, one to go. We got our glute bridge with abduction first. Then we'll move to one final round of that curl overhead press all right and we got three two one go back through the heels pull the knees out just a little bit keep the big toe on the floor though don't let it peel off couple second hold up top bring it back down and repeat Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. Work your way back up to standing. Last round of this curl to overhead press to tricep extension. 
use the band one more time. I'm just going to step on with one because I got a little heavier resistance band here. And last round is going in three, two, one, go. Elbows stay close to the body, curl, press, then tricep extend. Should be able to get at least five reps in here, if not more. 10 to go. Let's see if I can get eight in. There we go. Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, now we can get rid of our equipment to kind of push it off to the side. And we've got two more, or we've got our last grouping of strength exercises. We're going core here. First one, uh, we're going to be laying on our back. Our hands are underneath the low back, and we're flutter kicking. So relax the head. Keep your belly tight. Three, two, one, go. Working, you know, putting the focus more on the lower abs here. Notice how my legs are only, you know, going about six inches off the floor. Any higher, I'm not going to really feel it as much. Stay with it. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Good. Now you're going to flip it over. We we're going to do an exercise for the back side of the body. So we're going reverse snow angel, laying on your stomach. We're going arms come down as the legs come out. You've got a couple options here. That's the harder version. You can go just arms where you're kind of relaxing the lower body, or you can go just legs. So a couple options there. Three, two, one, go. 30 seconds here. Do your best to keep whatever it is that you are moving, whether it's legs, arms, or both, from touching the floor. Stay with it, home stretch. Three, two, one, time. Nicely done, y'all. All right, now we're back to our back. Same thing. We got two more rounds here, those flutter kicks and reverse snow angels. Remember, keep those legs relatively low to the floor. The faster you can flutter kick, the harder it's going to be. <laughs> we're going in three. Two, one, go. You want to make this harder, you can bring your shoulder blades up off the floor. Just make sure you're not cranking your neck into your chest. Try to keep looking up towards the ceiling, or you can just opt to stay completely flat with the upper body. Stay with it. Almost there, three, two, one, time. Good, flip it over. We got our second round of these reverse snow angels. So starting on the stomach, make sure you got some room so that you can do your arms or legs going out. We got 10 seconds here. So remember, once you start, try to keep everything up off the floor except for your Midsection. Three, two, one, go. Remember, slow is the name of the game here. Stay with it. Halfway. Five, four, Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, flip it over one last time. We're actually second to last time, so we'll flip it back for one more round of reverse snow angels. But this is our last round of flutter kicks. So give me as many as you can in this 30 second window. 
right, we got 10 seconds, so go ahead and get set up. Hands are underneath the low back, or they can be by the sides too if you prefer. And three, two, one, go. Keep breathing here. If the tendency is to hold your breath, do your best not to do that. We can still keep that core tight and low back on the floor and continue to breathe. Five, four, three, two, one, time. Nicely done. All right, last rollover. We're moving to our last round of our reverse snow angels. Home stretch here, 30 seconds to go, and then we're going to move real quickly to our cardio finisher where we've got four exercises that we're gonna go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, two rounds of that, and then we'll be done. All right, three, two, one, go. Reverse snow angel, last 30 seconds here. Do your best to keep whatever it is you're moving up off the floor. That means that back is working nice and hard, which is exactly what we want. 10 seconds to go. Home stretch here, last strength exercise, y'all. Three, two, one, time. Good job. All right, pop it up to standing. I'm gonna get rid of my mat. And then we've got our cardio section to finish. So first move is going to be skaters. We're going side to side here. You can curtsy if you need to. Then we're going to go to mountain climbers. Then we're going to a burpee with or without the push-up. And then we're finishing with seal jacks. Three, two, one, go. Skaters. We're just going quick lightning round here. 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off of these four exercises. We're going to go through two rounds. And that'll be it. Now it's time to get that heart rate up. Get your breathing heavy. Three, two, one, time, good. Now we're getting ready to get, get down to the floor and do mountain climbers. Remember, you've got a couple options here. You can come up and tap, or you can give me the full. Three, two, one, Go. Remember, you can come up and touch, keep your core tight, no matter which version you do. We're getting a little bit of cardio and core here. 15 seconds to go. And five, four, three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, now we got burpee. Hands come down, step or jump out, step it back in and hop up. You can do the push up if you want to make it harder or leave it out if you want to make it just a little easier. And go. I'm going to go half burpee, no push up. But completely up to you what you choose. Halfway here. Y'all are doing great. Stay with it. Three, two, one, time. All right, quick 15 second rest. Last movement here. We're going seal jacks. Slow that breathing down. We're almost through one round. Three, two, one, go. And you can step these out too if you need to. Give me as many as you can in 30 seconds. As soon as we finish these, that's one full round. We're gonna hop into our second and final round and then that will be it. Stay with it. Almost there, three, two, one. Time. Good job, y'all. 
All right, slow that breathing down real quick. We're going right back into this for one more round. Skaters first, going in three, two, one, go. Stick it out for three more minutes and then you're done. You know we couldn't finish the workout without doing some cardio. 10 seconds to go here. Push yourself as hard as you can. Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, now we're moving to mountain climbers. See if I can sneak in and drink a water real quick. All right, here we go. Last round of mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Go. So go as hard as you can here. Remember, if you need to, you can always slow it down. But I want you to do your best to keep it going the whole 30 seconds. We're already 20 seconds down here, 10 to go. Three, two, one, time. Good job, y'all. All right, last two movements. We got burpee and seal jacks. Final 60 seconds of work here. We got our burpee going in three, two, one, go. Try to keep those hips up when you step or kick it out. Halfway here, home stretch, last 10 seconds, three, two, one, time. Woo. Good job, y'all. All right, this is it. Last 30 second round, seal jacks, and we are done. We'll finish with a little bit of stretching, but last 30 seconds, three, two, one, Go. Halfway, 15 to go. This is it. Everything you got here. And three, two, one. Time. Whew. Good job, y'all. All right, grab a little bit of water. Slow that breathing down first. And then we'll do just a little bit of deep diaphragmatic breathing to slow that heart rate down. So big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Give me a couple of these. Consciously trying to slow that inhale and exhale down. One more. Nicely done, y'all. Now I want you to reach for your toes. Knees stay straight, hamstring stretch. We'll do, uh, we'll spend the last few minutes of class just doing some stretches per usual. Couple more seconds here. Nicely done, come on up. Then we're gonna do a figure four glute stretch. Cross that ankle over on the opposite thigh. Sit those hips back. We'll aim for about 20 to 30 seconds here, then we'll switch sides. Remember, you don't have to push down on the knee. If you don't want to, that will apply a little bit more stretch though. And then release that. 
Same thing on the other side. Well, I'm sad to say that this is the last virtual class that we will be doing as we open up to our entire member base. I'm gonna definitely miss doing these, but I'm gonna enjoy having people back in person. But remember, you can always go back and watch any of the previous ones that we've done. Lord knows there's tons of them. Let's go ahead and switch it to a adductor stretch. So lean to one side, keep that leg straight. But I'm really glad we were able to do these for as long as we, we were. It was definitely a good test of, of uh, me, Jess, and Joe's creativity to um, do so many bodyweight workouts. And, and I hope you all enjoyed us being able to mix in some of the equipment that you had at home. Switch sides. And really show you that you can get a great workout with no equipment. Obviously equipment brings in some more variety. So we certainly love as much equipment as we can get, but you know, it, it goes to show you that you can get a great workout in just about anywhere without the need of fancy equipment. All right, come on up. Let's do a quad stretch next. And then we'll just finish with a um, chest stretch. Make sure you're squeezing that glue to the back leg, push the hip forward. Good, and relax that. Same thing on the other side. About 10 more seconds here, and then we'll switch, finish with our chest stretch. And relax. Last one, clasp those hands behind your back and push down. We'll do a little forward fold with this as well. One of my favorite things to do after holding this for about 20 seconds. So go ahead, forward fold, try to keep them clasped and then release them, let your arms be dead weight. Nicely done, sway back and forth. Kind of shift weight from left to right. And then slowly come up to standing. And that is it for this final boot camp class. Thank you all so much for coming once again.